Welcome back. It's The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. We look at the incident that took place yesterday, shortly after Nigeria crashed out of uh, qualifying for the World Cup. Uh, you have enraged Nigerian football fans went on rampage yesterday after Ghana's Black Star knocked out the Super Eagles out of the Qatar FIFA World Cup. Though the score lines in the Jap Stadium was 1-1, Ghana aged out Nigeria on the way goal rule. Its early goal in Abuja reckoned as two goals. With the blast of the final whistle, the fans stomped the page and vandalized the Mushud Abiola Stadium infrastructure. Videos of that protest was uh, viral yesterday. It was not clear whether anyone had been hurt, but you had billows of smoke apparently from the tear gas canisters. It could also be seen as a section of the stadium and the protest came as social media resonated with calls for immediate sack of uh, Eagles coach Austin Aguavo and the NFF president Amaju Pinnock. We do have Motorayo Fagbu. Uh, we have Motorayo joining us this morning. Uh, the location is Abuja. It's good to have you join us. Motorayo Fagbu, it's good to have you join us. Good morning. Can you hear me, please? Good morning, good morning. Can you hear me? We can Lado hear you. Yeah, can you please clear. quickly tell us what really happened yesterday after the whistle went off? Sorry, please come again. Can you tell us what happened yesterday after the final whistle? The game between Ghana you, and Nigeria. What happened? Oh, so after the match, a fan ran across the field, wanted to all a Nigerian player. So they are trying to stop him, but he finally hugged the Nigerian player. So when people saw that, he jumped the, the barricade because they were like, they locked the gate. So when people saw that, he jumped and he hugged the Nigerian player. People started coming in. I think the security was not enough to handle the amount of crowd. So that was how they just like took over the field, started destroying like they did a lot of damage for the security started with the tear gas and all. So that's happened after the match. Uh, Moturayo, uh, can you give us more uh, specific uh, details, uh, really? Uh, was anyone severely injured uh, yesterday? Uh, casualties per se, really, after that uh, incident that went um, all right yesterday at um, the stadium? Okay, so as I wish it was there because I had to run for my life. It was uh, the viewers that injured because this was so rowdy, over like 60,000 people. So, like, as I when I was there, it was only the people that came to match that probably injured and all. But as of yet, I don't think, as I when I was there, I don't think any people died also. Well, like, a lot of people injured because there was something like stampede and all. So, so what would you say uh, actually led to this outrage that we can see as we're speaking right now on the screen? Was it out of excitement to hug the players or was it out of anger? What really do you think actually cost this? So I actually say it was more anger because I don't know, to me, I don't really like the way they play. I'm not, I'm not like a football person, but I know that these guys need to be at best for what, what has happened. happened. That's all right. Uh, coming from a place of being angry. Mm. Thank you so much, Motora Yofagui, uh, for being part of the show this morning. We do appreciate your time. You're welcome. All right, then. Oh, a very unfortunate incident that happened yesterday. And, yes, uh, you know, seeing the video and all of the clips, and yesterday wasn't really a very great time, coupled with all of the incident that happened. Now, one of the things that also got Nigerians talking is the fact that uh, the players failed to wear the black and ban. And usually you have that to, um, you know, sympathize with those who have lost their life. Following the incident that has happened yesterday, everyone thought that the NFF would have actually ensured that that happened, but it wasn't the case. And so some people said, maybe we just got what we deserve. You know, the blood of innocent people who constantly and who have died would have actually not worked for us to make us win the game. But these are all in, you know, the speculative. Justin, did you watch the match? 
No, I didn't watch the match. Honestly, I didn't want to end up in time because it could have ended either ways. So I just uh, was um, dozed yesterday while the match was on. And I indeed had a very wonderful sleep because I didn't want to give myself any uh, tremors uh, afterwards. But well, it, it went the way it went and Nigeria you know, failed to qualify and um, there was a, a no prior afterwards. Um, but then uh, a lot of people were injured and uh, it was really a very, very sad one. Uh, yesterday was indeed a terrible day for the Super Eagles and of course for Kaduna, for Nigeria, for all of us as um, you know, citizens of Nigeria. And uh, we are still mourning and our hearts uh, go out to you know, the family of those who have lost uh, loved ones, the people who are still you know, in pains and in injuries. Uh, we just uh, pray that uh, somehow they find some sort of um, healing and uh, some sort of uh, you know, succor. Well, uh, for all of the I mean, things that happened yesterday, that outrage, yes, it's a game you would definitely lose. The best team will always win, but not in this particular case. However, there were other factors. But it's quite condemnable, the action of fans yesterday at the Abiola Shoot Stadium. Very condemnable, uh, you know, no matter what the frustration is. I mean, that's uh, resources that's actually been destroyed and damaged. There are all the ways to get things done. Violence has never solved anything and will never solve any problem. And so we hope that we can do better subsequently as we progress. Winning the World Cup will need a lot of preparation. It's not a two-week thing. You have to plan over time. I hope that we learn the lessons and move on as a country. That's the size of our conversation. We will definitely return tomorrow. It would be more interesting conversation right here. If you missed out on any part of it, it's okay to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Instagram and to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. Many thanks for watching. I am Messi Boko. Have a fantastic day. And I'm Justin Akadani. Many thanks for being a part of the show. Stand by for the news coming up momentarily.